If Monica Lewinsky says that while you were in the Oval Office area, you touched her breast, would she be lying? Let me say something about all this. All I really need for you, Mr. President, I know, is to say I, have... won't, I won't answer under the previous grounds or, or to answer the question. You see, because we only have four hours and your answers know, have well, been it, extremely it, lengthy. But go ahead and ask your questions. The question is, if Monica, if Monica Lewinsky says that while you were in the Oval Office area, you touched her breast, would she be lying? That is not my recollection. My recollection is that I did not have sexual relations with Ms. Lewinsky, and I'm staying on my former statement about that. If she my, said, my, my, my statement is that I did not have sexual relations as defined by that. If she says that you kissed her breast, would she be lying? I'm going to revert to my former statement. Okay. If Monica Lewinsky says that while you were in the Oval Office area, you touched her genitalia, would she be lying? That calls for a yes, no, or reverting to your former statement. I will revert to my statement on that. If Monica Lewinsky says that you used a cigar as a sexual aid with her in the Oval Office area, would she be lying? Yes, no, or, or won't answer. I will revert to my former statement. If Monica Lewinsky says that you had phone sex with her, would she be lying? Well, uh, that is... Uh, at least in general terms, I think is covered by my statement. I address that in my statement, and that uh, I don't believe is. Let me read. It. Let me define phone sex for purposes of my question. Phone sex occurs when a party to a phone conversation masturbates while the other party is talking in a sexually explicit manner. And the question is, if Monica Lewinsky says that you had phone sex with her, would she be lying? I think that is covered by my statement. <laughs>